chargeable weight, volume weight, or actual weight? That is the question. What is the chargeable weight of a parcel? Carriers take both the size and weight of your package into consideration when determining the shipping fees. The weight of the package is important, but sometimes the amount of space it takes up on the truck or plane is given even more consideration. In other words, in logistics, cargo density matters a lot. Let's start with giving definitions to the key terms. Chargeable or billable weight is the value on which a carrier will rely when deciding on how much to charge for shipping. Gross, actual or dead weight is what the majority of people not related to the logistics field understand under the term weight. In simple words, it's how heavy the parcel or pallet is. Volumetric or dimensional weight is a method of measurement calculated using the dimensions of the package. The scarcity of space involved in transportation and storage of goods led to evaluation of weight and volume becoming a common practice. So, how do we calculate the volumetric weight? Well, it depends on if you want to store the pallets in the warehouse, ship out by sea or by air. First, the warehouse. When it comes to a warehouse, one cubic meter equals one ton. For the box. And for the cylinder. Second, LCL shipments. The rule to calculate volume weight when it comes to LCL shipments is in a sense similar to the warehousing one. Chargeable weight is the greater of actual weight in ton and volumetric weight in cubic meters or CBM. Third, air freight or shipping carriers. When it comes to air freight or shipping carriers like DHL and FedEx, the formula is pretty simple. For the box and for the cylinder, the key part of the formula is DIM. DIM is a factor used to calculate the volumetric weight of an object. It may vary per carrier and in some cases, per country zone. Usually DIM is either 4,000, 5,000, or 6,000. Currently, most large carriers use CM3 per kilogram, and DIMs of 6,000 and 5,000 to calculate volume weight, some companies use different formulas. You can check out different carriers' websites like FedEx and DHL. How to avoid paying more due to volumetric or dimensional weight? Efficient packaging is key. Minimize costs by using the smallest available box or bag and request vacuum packaging for low-density items. It helps to save a lot on shipping, for example, clothes. Efficient grouping is not least important. Instead of shipping multiple parcels to your address, try to find a service that would allow you to combine your orders into one shipment, especially when it comes to international shipping. Delivered Korea solves the issue with dimensional weight by providing repackaging and consolidation services. Delivered Korea Shop Korea, ship worldwide.